All right, awesome. Welcome everyone to the Texas Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Chelsea and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to the presenters at any time. This is one of many sessions happening, so be sure to check the schedule on the website for more information. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Texas. And without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to our first present presenter, and that's going to be Austin College. Welcome everybody. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Austin College, which is a national liberal arts college um, located in Sherman, Texas. The campus of, in Sherman is about half an hour from the Dallas Metroplex, about an hour from downtown Dallas, and located in a small city of about 35,000 people. Share my screen, sorry. Austin College is one of two members of the Colleges That Change Lives, a national organization that comprises 45 colleges. Uh, the other member in Texas uh, will be presenting very, very soon. Um, the Allison College has 1,300 students. The average class size is 15. It's the third oldest college in Texas, founded in 1849, and the the cornerstone of Austin College over that 170 year history is academics. The college has strong programs across the academic spectrum. So whether you're interested in sciences, social sciences, humanities, business, economics, computer science are gonna be great pathways available to you. Um, we do have unusual strength in the sciences for a small private college. And what you're looking at at this point is our idea center, the STEM building that opened seven years ago. It's the largest and I think most magnificent academic facility on campus. And among its many features is the uh, third largest research observatory in Texas, which you can see sort of in the left hand next to the entrance. Um, we have a history of outstanding results with medical schools, other postgraduate healthcare programs, all kinds of postgraduate science pathways, and of course, uh, uh, great postgraduate pathways outside the sciences. The overall admit rate to graduate and professional schools each year surpasses 90% to give you an idea of how Austin College is regarded in the academic world. Um, we have a remarkable four-year graduation rate. Over 90% of our students graduate in four years or fewer. There are various reasons for that. One of them is, um, I'll get to in a moment, our first year um, mentor system. Each Austin College student, the moment that their career begins, meets their assigned mentor professor. That professor will teach the student in the first semester of college, but you can keep the same mentor throughout the entire four years. The mentor is a little bit different than the advisor role that many of us have, um, uh, have had in our college experiences. Besides teaching you, the person will see you multiple times per week. Um, it's a really significant relationship. Uh, you can keep the same, men same mentor for four years. Most students do. You can change if you want. But I think the most important interval in which you, you value your mentor is in the first year and a half when you're making those decisions about uh, what to major in, what to minor in, whether to change, whether to explore something new, how to balance all that, what courses to take next semester, next year, and so on. When you choose your major in the middle of sophomore year, you will also uh, have an advisor aside from your major. A core value of Austin College is connecting your academic and intellectual experience to the world beyond the college, to the extent that in recent years, Austin College has formalized a, an applied learning requirement for graduation. There are five different ways of satisfying that requirement. They include outstanding opportunities um, in advanced research, 
We're an undergraduate institution uh, of our 1300 students, only 20 are graduate students. We have one very small master's in teaching program. Everyone else is undergraduate. So you're not competing for research opportunities with graduate students. Uh, we also have um, great opportunities for academically related internships. Uh, often professors will even suggest academically related internships to students who hadn't asked about them. Uh, that's another way of satisfying the requirement. Uh, there are actually five different ways of satisfying the requirement. I'm going to mention one other way, which is international study. Um, before COVID, of course, we hope this situation resumes soon, um, but before COVID, about two thirds of our students had an academic experience for credit outside the United States during their four year career. We're hoping that next year the uh, study abroad program is not on hold anymore. We have to see what happens with the pandemic, but uh, uh, we hope to get back to something like that, that rate of participation. Another distinguishing feature at Austin College is January term. The college was back in the 1960s, one of the colleges that pioneered a 414 academic calendar. So in between the four course fall and spring semesters, there's a one month, one credit term that was designed to create lots of different opportunities and distinctive opportunities and to nudge students out of their comfort zone. So you've got a lot of different options to, during January term. Some of those are, are uh, represented on the screen. They, this does make possible uh, international study for students who might not otherwise be able to give up an entire semester or a year to that. Beyond academics, Austin College is a vibrant residential community. Over 80% of our students live on campus. Uh, it's a 24-7 community. This is not a place that empties out on the weekend. There are activities uh, and events all weekend long. Um, the proximity to Dallas creates lots of special opportunities only a half hour away, and uh, the community is amazingly diverse, and that diversity melds into one supportive network of students, faculty, and staff. We offer truly holistic admission. We read every word in every file. There is never one number that automatically gets a student in or keeps a student out, and we have abundant resources for need-based financial aid and merit scholarship aid. Our goal with financial aid and scholarships is to make sure that cost is never a factor in a student's not, decision not to attend Austin College. We offer intercollegiate sports in the NCAA at the Division III level. Uh, we have a wonderful array of fine arts opportunities. Art, music, and theater are, already, are all large and robust programs. And we have all kinds of other different activities and organizations. So with that, I'm going to wrap up. If, uh, if you're interested in Austin College, I will put our web address and my email address in the chat. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. OK, next I'd like to introduce Southwestern University. All right, good evening. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Really excited to share about Southwestern with all of you. Let me get started. This is the center of our campus. We are located in Georgetown, Texas, just about 28 miles uh, north of Austin on I-35. Um, you can see there we have um, a, a circle center in our campus and that yellow bike, um, it's not there just for show. Those are pirate bikes. The pirate is our mascot and those yellow bikes you'll find all over campus. Um, we are also a residential campus, um, our freshman and sophomore live on campus, but so many students love the dorm life that they stay all four years. Um, so if you're running late to class, you can just jump on a pirate bike and head over. There's no app and there's no cost. It's just fun. Um, Southwestern is a private liberal arts college founded in 1840. We're actually the first university in, or the first college founded in Texas. Um, we are a small community. So we have about 1500 students with 37 majors, 41 minors, and seven pre-professional pathways like pre-med, pre-physical therapy, pre-law, pre-dent. We have, um, like I said, a very close community. Our faculty to student ratio is one to 12, and our average class size is just 16 students. So you really have the opportunity to engage with your classmates and um, get into deep discussion with your professor. 
Sustainability is also a really important thing for us. So all of our energy is 100% renewable. And as my colleague um, from Austin College shared as well, we are um, the other um, college that changed lives in the state of Texas. There's only two. So it's nice to be um, in that same company. Additionally, um, Georgetown is a beautiful place to be. Um, we were actually voted um, one of the fastest growing cities with small town charm. Um, additionally, if you like to get outside and get to the recreation, um, we are right on the San Gabriel River, very close to there in Lake Georgetown. And there's actually spots to go caving as well. Um, it's really wonderful. If you love live music, we're just a hop, skip and a jump from Austin. If you wanna go to ACL, um, there's great food. We're also surrounded by great industry, so lots of opportunity for internships and medical shadowing as well. We also have a really flexible learning curriculum at Southwestern. We have a philosophy based on the Greek word called paideia. Um, paideia is all about looking at a variety of different um, perspectives and problems and bringing different lenses to them um, and looking at things from different perspectives in order to solve problems which is one of the number one characteristics that industry leaders are looking for when they're hiring. So here at Southwestern, you will spend a third of your curriculum in your major, a third in classic liberal arts courses like fine arts, humanities, natural sciences, social science, language, social justice, and fitness. And you'll also have a third of your curriculum that you get to determine. You get to decide. So if you're looking for a place where you can really design your own educational experience. This is a great place for you to be. We also really like to find opportunities for you to apply your knowledge outside of the classroom. About 26% of our students study abroad in over 22 countries and about 62% participate in community engaged learning courses. That's where the course is actually partnered with a nonprofit in the Georgetown area. So for instance, um, our local schools, um, a variety of different groups. So you not only get to learn in the classroom, but you then get to partner with someone in the community to solve or meet a problem. We also have 80% of our students completing at least one internship, as um, we talked about before. We've had interns at Saturday Night Live in DC, if you're interested in government policy, um, also doing internships abroad as well. All of our students will complete a capstone course or a similar project to really bring together their entire experience into a culminating project. We also have a very strong research program here at Southwestern. About 13% of our students participate in research. Um, and as Austin College shared as well, you won't be competing with graduate students for research time. We actually don't have a graduate school here at Southwestern. So you will have the undivided attention of your faculty. We also have a really vibrant social life here at Southwestern. When classes are over, nothing stops around here. There's energy and activity all the time. We have over 100 student organizations, um, theater, choir, and other fine arts for non-majors as well. We are a Division III NCAA school with 20 different sports available. So if you're interested in continuing, continuing in your athletic career here at Southwestern, you can do that while also getting a world-class education and having um, that balance of a social life as well. We also have 24 intramural sports and 10 national sororities and fraternities. About a third of our students participate in Greek life. And what's really nice is that we engage in deferred recruitment. So you wouldn't join one of those organizations until the spring of your freshman year. So you can really get to know folks in those organizations and decide if that's what you'd like to do. Let's take a look at our student profile. We're almost a 50-50 split of female to male. About 15% of our students are international and from out of state. 41% come from underrepresented populations and 17% are the first in their families to go to college. Kind of getting to the nuts and bolts, this is how to apply. We accept um, four different applications. The Southwestern application is just for Southwestern. So if you're applying to more than one school, um, I would not recommend using that. If you're applying to schools in Texas, Apply Texas is great. Or if you're applying to schools from all over the country, the coalition and the common app are gonna be best for you. We have adopted a Super Tuesday model for our deadlines uh, for applications. Early decision is the first Tuesday in November. 
And that's where you are signing an agreement with your um, counselor that if you're admitted to Southwestern, um, that you would withdraw yourself from all other um, schools and come see us in the fall. Early action is the first Tuesday in December and regular decision is the first Tuesday in February. And when you um, apply, you can expect to get an answer within um, 30 days. And within, if you're admitted, you'll get your financial aid package within 72 hours. One really important thing about Southwestern is that we've been a test optional school since fall of 2019, and we will continue to be test optional. About 50% of our applicants are test, test optional. You can see the requirements here um, for admission. If you do choose to go test optional, we do also require an interview, which is just a conversation with an admission counselor just like me. Looking at our cost of attendance, you can see the breakdown here. What's really exciting is that we have a very robust merit scholarship plan, which I'd like to share with you. We take your class rank or your recalculated GPA, which is your GPA without your electives in it. Whichever one of those is higher, we will take and use to determine your range of scholarships. So for instance, if you have a 3.5 GPA, you are going to be guaranteed 23 to $29,000 a year every year for four years if you're admitted to the university. Looking at our postgraduate success, um, we have one of the best career services um, offices in the state of Texas. We actually have the number one in the state and number three in the US. Um, and you can see all of the great um, places that our, our graduates are going to post-graduation. Um, we would love, love, love to have you visit. Um, I will put up a little bit of it, uh, a QR code. If you'd like more information, you can scan that and we'd be happy to get more information to you. Thank you. All right, moving forward, uh, Stephen F. Austin State University is up next. Awesome, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Awesome. So hello everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is my contact information so you can take a quick picture of it. Um, you're more than welcome to email us, email the regular admissions office or give us a call or text at any point in time if you have any questions over admission. So some quick facts about SFA. Um, we were established in 1923. We are a medium-sized public institution um, in the state of Texas. So we do have a little bit less than 13,000 students. Our average class size is 27 students. This is a great opportunity for students to have that one-on-one -on -one time with the professors. We are very big on hands-on experiences and opportunities. During your senior year, you will have an inter internship, senior project, et cetera, um, opportunity for you to get that hands-on experience and put that on your resume. For retention rate, we are at 77%. Um, since we are open enrollment, we don't have a specific deadline as to when you can no longer apply to the university. We do, um, we do have that retention rate percentage. We have an 18 to one student to faculty ratio. Um, once again, gives you a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities with professors. And we have about 120 different areas of study. So freshman admission, um, since COVID happened, uh, we have been test optional for SAT and ACT and that is continuing on this year as well. So applying for admissions is very straightforward. You apply through Go Apply Texas, you submit that application fee, which is $50, or if you qualify for a fee waiver, you can submit it that, that way, or um, you can pay that $50 fee once again. An official high school transcript is also needed. And we have, since we've made it test optional, had the opportunity to put SAT, ACT scores, but it's not once again required. It is always just recommended. I have put here the scholarship deadline. It's very important um, because after that February 1st deadline, you can no longer apply for scholarships at SFA. We do have a December 1st priority deadline, which means that if you do get admitted, um, apply and get admitted by December 1st, you actually will get to pick your residence hall selection early and your orientation session early. So a little bit about campus life. We do have a lot of different on-campus 
um, residence halls opportunities as well if you're interested in living on campus. It is required for you to live on campus your first year, but there are about six different co-ed and non-co-ed living styles. So if that's something that interests you, definitely look at our website and look at all of the different residence halls we do offer. We have about 200 clubs and organizations at SFA. There's a lot of different ways you can get involved, um, going from Greek lives, service clubs, cultural organizations, lifestyle organizations, even major um, related organizations as well. So there's so much you can do. Um, at the Student Center, there is a involvement center that you can go to if you're interested in getting involved, but you're not really sure what to do. There is a survey you can take and they'll give you um, a list of different organizations at SFA that best fit your wants, depending on how you answer that survey. We also have over 16 D1 sports in um, SFA athletics. We are um, NCAA D1. We are in the WAC division. Just a little information on that. We do have our showcase Saturday coming up November 13th. So definitely if that's something you're interested in, coming to campus and visiting us, um, getting a tour of campus and facilities, getting a tour of residence life and residence halls and different organizations are gonna be out kind of promoting themselves, showing you what SFA is all about. Definitely you can register on our online website. And once again, this is my information. If you have any questions at all, let me know. And I will put this once again on the chat. Awesome, thanks so much. Okay, next up is Texas State University. Hi there, everyone. Uh, let me just start sharing my screen here. All right. So my name is Anna Hernandez, um, and I am one of the oopsies. Um, I am one of the admissions counselors at Texas State, um, so I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about who we are, where we are. I'm sorry if you hear my dog. Um, she gets excited <laughs> when she hears me doing these presentations. Um, but to get started, in case you guys don't already know, Texas State is one of the largest public institutions in the state of Texas, so we have a little over 38,000 students enrolled on campus. Um, these statistics are a little um, outdated, um, but we do have a little over 38,000 students. Uh, we have three campuses, so our main campus is in San Marcos, Texas, so right in between Austin and San Antonio, very conveniently located, about 30 minutes from Austin, about 30, 40 minutes from San Antonio. Um, our location is one of the things that our students love most about Texas State, um, as myself. Um, we also have a second campus. It's located in Round Rock, Texas, and Round Rock houses most of our health profession majors. So students that are interested in our nursing school, for example, will move up to Round Rock because that is where our nursing school is located. So our nursing students complete their first two years in San Marcos and then move on to Round Rock to complete the following uh, two years. We do cover um, about eight areas of study. At Texas State, we do have 10 different colleges. Within the colleges is where you will find your majors, which we offer about 100 different undergraduate degree programs. So if you're interested in anything from agriculture to business, education, science, um, and engineering, we, again, offer a little over 100 undergraduate degree programs. Um, some of our more popular majors, just to mention them, um, are going to be business. Like I said, um, we are an accredited business college, so we have programs like marketing, management, finance, all that good stuff. Um, education, because we are top educator producing university. We actually started off um, as a teacher's college back when we were founded in 1899. So we still hope, hold true to that. Um, our nursing school, like I mentioned, that's up in Round Rock is amazing. Our nursing students have 100% passing rate on the NCLEX exam and 100% job placement once they graduate with that nursing degree. And we also offer a couple of engineering programs as well. The most popular within all of those is going to be our civil engineering program. 
And we actually just finished building a brand new science and engineering building. So our engineering and science majors get to play around with all the latest um, high um, tech technology out there. So that's really fun. Uh, opportunities and sororities and endless community service opportunities. We're really big on community service at Texas State because we are located in a little small town of San Marcos um, and majority of the population in San Marcos are college students. So we definitely love taking the time to give back to the community that has welcomed us with open arms. Uh, we also offer in a real leagues and club sports. So we have 35 uh, sports clubs. And we are an NCAA Division I school, so we do have 16 sports teams that compete at the D1 level and participate in the Sunbelt Conference. Uh, now to get into the more nitty-gritty admission application process, uh, Texas State, as many other colleges and universities, is test optional as well. So if you guys want to submit your test scores, you're more than welcome to, but it is not required of you to do so. If you decide to go the test optional route, we're looking at a lot of different things like your rank, your GPA, the classes you've taken, um, the grades that you got in those classes, and then maybe any extracurriculars you might have completed as well. Um, with that being said, we also have our assured admission table, which is right here on the screen. Um, assured admission is going to be based off of your rank, what quartile you're in, and what SAT or ACT score you might have received. The actual application process is fairly simple. So your first step is going to be to submit your freshman application on Go Apply Texas. It is not Apply Texas anymore. Um, Go Apply Texas. Uh, we also have an application essay, which is optional. Um, your high school transcript, application fee of $75, or fee waiver, because we do have fee waivers available as well. And if you've taken any college dual credits, uh, you'll want to get your college transcript submitted to us as well. So we can give you uh, credit for college courses you've already taken. A uh, couple of priority deadlines. If you are looking to come for fall 2022, we do have a March 1st priority deadline for our applications. And we also have scholarships that we offer our incoming freshman students. So the assured scholarships are automatically awarded to students who qualify for them. So if you're in the top 35% of your graduating class, you will automatically receive review for these assured scholarships. So you, you do not have to apply to these. There's no form you have to fill out, nothing like that. Again, once we see that you're in that top 35%, we automatically place you into review and you can be awarded up to $48,000 over four years for these assured scholarships. So there's amazing opportunities there. Uh, we also offer the competitive scholarships. So the competitive scholarships do have an application process. You do have to apply to these. And they do have a December 15th deadline. So if anyone um, is it really interested in applying to Texas State, I would encourage you to submit your application within the next month or so, so you can still apply to these scholarship opportunities. And if you haven't visited our campus, I highly encourage you to do so. We have a beautiful campus at Texas State. Um, we're the university with the river. So we have that river that flows right through our campus, which is probably our main attraction. We also have Bobcat Day coming up on November 20th, which is an open house of Texas State. So I highly encourage you guys to register for that if you are really interested um, in getting a closer look at Texas State. Thank you so much. Okay, next up, the University of Texas at Austin. Awesome. Hello, everyone. My name is Veronica Pena, and I work in the Office of Admissions. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. I do want to get started right away and just tell you a little bit about the university. So we are a large institution uh, with about 52,000 students on our campus. We have over 170 different fields of studies that you can pursue. Um, we also do offer pre-med and pre-law services. So if you want to go to law school, you want to go to medical school, we do have opportunities for you to meet with academic advisors to prepare for that. Um, I also want to point out our School of Nursing is a four-year direct program. So you do all four years with us. Um, we have, but we do have a little bit of everything from engineering, education, fine arts, business, um, school of social work. So you name it, more than likely we do offer some sort of program, whether that be um, a major or certificate program or minor. 
Uh, like I mentioned, we're large institutions. So if we think about UT, think about many of those opportunities. Uh, we do have representation from a lot of different um, a lot of different counties here in Texas and over 50 or all 50 states and then over 120 different countries uh, around the globe. So when you come to UT, you're going to meet people from all different types of backgrounds. Now, although we are a large school, we do a really great job at making a big place feel small. So our student to faculty ratio is actually 18 to 1, and 60% of our classes do have 30 students or less in them. Our four-year graduation rate is one of the highest in Texas, which is at 72.2%, and our retention rate, which means how many students are staying from freshman year to sophomore year, is about 96.7%, so definitely a really great number that we are proud of. Each incoming freshman will be placed in what we call a 360 connection, which is a smaller learning environment from the very beginning. So again, if you think lots of opportunities, being at a large public institution, uh, think about everything that you can get involved with. All right, and I do wanna point out that we do have research opportunities. We have study abroad opportunities as well that you can get involved with. Um, we also have career services to assist you with lending that part-time job, that internship, that will hopefully lead to that full-time career later on. We do have over 1,300 student organizations. So we have everything from Greek, social, special interest, political, academic, religious organizations. So we do have a little bit of something for everyone. We are located in the great city of Austin, Texas, downtown Austin, actually. Austin's a really great place for professional development. We are home and headquarters to a number of different companies, Dell, Google, Facebook, Apple. Um, we have a number of hospital chains. And then of course, the state capital of Texas building is not too far from our campus at any given time. We typically have about 200 students interning at the state capitol building. Uh, Austin's also a great place just to have fun. We have three different um, lakes, Ladyburg Lake, Lake Austin, Lake Travis. You can go hiking, biking, and canoeing, and lots of great places to eat food in the city of Austin. So come on down. Now, I do want to kind of switch gears and talk about how we apply to the university. Um, we are on Apply Texas or the Coalition for college applications. So if you're thinking about applying, please use one of those two platforms. Um, either one is fine. Overall, we are gonna take a holistic approach when reviewing you for admissions. When we say holistic, we mean we look at absolutely everything. We're looking at your grades. What courses did you take? Um, what did you do with your time in and out of the classroom? Uh, were you involved? Uh, did you work? Did you take care of somebody? What did you do with your time? Uh, leadership goes a long way. We also want to know why you are interested in pursuing that major you are applying for. So throughout your application, be sure you are very detailed and really tell us about you and that interest. Now, we do have what we call automatic admission. So if you are a junior or senior when you apply your senior year, if you are in the top 6% of your class, that's 6.0000%, then you are automatically admitted to the institution, uh, but you are not guaranteed your major. So we will holistically review your major. If you are outside of the top 6%, still apply, you can still be admitted. We will take that holistic approach as well. So again, look at that entirety of your application. Right here is your application checklist. We also have all of this information on our admissions website as well. Uh, we are not requiring test scores this year. Uh, it's an option for you. You can decide to send it in or you can decide not to. Totally up to you. Now, this is a breakdown of our timeline. Our application opens up your senior year, August 1st. Um, our final deadline is December 1st. However, we do have a priority deadline of November 1st, which means is if you have all application items in by November 1st, you would receive your decision or a notification about that decision by uh, February 1st. If not, that final deadline is going to be December 1st. Uh, you can also apply for housing right now when you're going through that admissions process. You are not required to live on campus, but we encourage you to do so. We do have our Texas Advanced Commitment, which simply means um, by sending in your FAFSA or your TASFA, you can be considered for this commitment, um, which means if your family's adjusted gross income is 65,000 or less, and you do demonstrate financial need, we will cover the cost of tuition for you. All you have to do is submit that FAFSA or TASFA. We additionally have a number of scholarships available for our students. So that is just a quick wrap up of our institution. I can sit here and talk more about becoming a Longhorn, but we want you to reach out to us. So we do have offices all across Texas and Dallas, Houston, the Rio Grande Valley, and then of course in Central Texas. 
And we have admission counselor representatives in El Paso, San Antonio, East Texas as well. And um, the Rio and Laredo as well and Corpus Christi. So reach out to us and um, stay connected and we hope to see your application in the future. Have a great night y'all and hook them horns. Thanks so much. All right, well, this is the next part of the session. So I'm gonna ask all of the presenters to jump back on screen. And we're gonna do a quick round robin question uh, answer just so that the participants can hear from you one more time. Okay, and we're gonna go in the same order that we originally started with in the presentation. So uh, I'm gonna start with Austin College. What advice would you give someone going through the search process right now? Fundamental piece of advice is think about yourself, be yourself, express yourself throughout the process, whether it's in your application, application essay, interviews, any, any interface with the colleges, be yourself and express yourself. There's often a temptation or sort of a, a, a pressure to think you have to be spectacularly impressive to gain admission to selective colleges. We want you the real person. If you're Honestly, if you're uh, logged on to this program right now, you're probably not too bad a student. You're probably a good student. You're probably going to be uh, somebody that we would be interested in, in uh, having apply. So uh, be yourself, express yourself. Thank you. Southwestern University, what is your advice? I would say in your essay, um, please share with us as much as you can about yourself. Um, that's our opportunity to kind of peek into who you are. Give us um, some big clues. Um, don't, you know, just talk about, I, I read one the other day that was just about getting onto YouTube and learning. And I was like, well, that's awesome. I'm glad you like to learn. But I walked away not knowing very much about that student. So that's your opportunity, a complete blank canvas to share about yourself with us. Um, so please get specific in your essays. That would be one of my pieces of advice. Awesome. Thank you. Stephen of Austin, what advice do you have? I would definitely say um, do your research. I know a lot of the times um, we go in blind. I definitely know I did as well, especially if you're a first generation student. Um, I would say also visiting campus, the campuses you're interested in, maybe your top three or if you're lucky, your top five, and you can visit all five. Um, being in like on campus and in that atmosphere, I feel like you'll definitely know if this is the right fit for you. Thank you. Texas State, what is your advice? Yeah, I'm right there with Mariana. Uh, visit the campus. Um, it's so important for you guys um, to feel and kind of see yourself as a student at that campus. Um, I would also say um, keep in mind the different deadlines, even from hearing each one of us speaking today. Um, you can see that we all have our own deadlines for scholarships, applications. Um, so whatever your top schools are, um, keep those deadlines in mind for sure. Thank you. University of Texas at Austin, what is your advice? Hi, um, I would say overall, uh, use your resources that you have. So right now, like being in this virtual presentation is always good. Um, if you have an opportunity, simply doing a Google search and really looking out there, there are so many websites that provide free information. So make sure again, you're looking at free information, but there's so much information available. Also, um, if you're in any of the big cities here in Texas, uh, there are more than likely college representatives from different universities across the United States located in your backyard to talk to you. So check out to see who's there, if there's somebody there you can contact with um, and really just discuss why you're interested in that school or things that that school might be looking for. Thank you. Okay, we have time for one more question. So let's go with, what is one thing you want students to remember about your school for Austin College? We're the kangaroos. We're one of only four colleges in the United States that has the kangaroo mascot. It's a little bit different. We're often not what you expect in a, uh, in a small private college. So think for yourself, think individually. We want individuals and get in touch with your inner marsupial. Thank you. Southwestern? Love that. 
Um, what I want you to remember about Southwestern is that it's a place where you're going to be known. It's a small community and it's a place where you can design your own educational experience. Thank you. Stephen of Austin, stay. Definitely adding to what Miss Jenny said, um, definitely having that one on one a lot of the times, getting in that more community base. But I feel like we take a lot of pride in our traditions. It makes SFA special. Are you? Our location is very unique to East Texas, so I feel like that we take a lot of pride in our color purple and <laughs> just our traditions at SFA. Thank you. Texas State? Yeah, I would say that at Texas State, we definitely want to offer our students um, a well-rounded education. We want them to get hands-on experience. We want them to participate in research. We want them to be involved with the community. Um, we want them to just have a well-versed knowledge and come out um, better individuals and better professionals um, after attending Texas State. Thank you. And University of Texas? Yeah, so we like to say what starts here changes the world at UT Austin. And we say that because our students are going out there and making changes either to their community, their own lives, or essentially something that's impacting the whole entire world. And so um, our students do that by getting engaged in research, taking on some internships, and uh, just really getting involved. Um, like Texas State had mentioned, we want you to take full advantage of every opportunity at our school and, and beyond to go and essentially change the world. Thank you. All righty. Well, that's going to wrap things up for us tonight. So a big thank you to our presenters for your time and all of the information you've put together. And a big thank you to the participants for being with us this evening. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick survey. We really appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more if you're interested. Um, and you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as the other session's recordings at strivescan.com slash Texas. Um, and with that, we will close out the night. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. Have a good one.